right, uh, log 14, as always, we're just talking about the movies that I watched this week um, in a rather short period of time. Uh, keeping this kind of rapid fire, rather raw. Uh, we got five movies to talk about. I'm going to try and keep it extra brief today as I'm just, I'm just keeping myself ridiculously busy. The Jungle Book is a technical feat and a visual feat. Uh, I mean, right up there with Dawn of the Planet of the Apes in presenting these synthetic creatures so well uh, that it takes no effort whatsoever to buy into the reality of the film. You can tell it's artificial, but this is some next level shit right here, uh, which makes me feel kind of bad that they can't make these movies for adults. Jungle Book definitely has a kid's movie mentality in that... The characters, um, their arcs, their relationships with each other, uh, the conflict, it, it, it's all very simple. And this movie suffers from a lot of the issues that these uh, Disney live adaptations have. I mean, things like uh, whenever it wants to have an impactful or an emotional moment, there's, there's just nothing backing it up besides maybe a overdone score. Yeah, a lot of things in this movie, not necessarily because they fit, but because they were in the animated movie. Duh, nostalgia sells. Uh, this movie certainly prefers to show off its technical ability with some admittedly impressive sequences rather than developing its characters or a more engaging plot, so good for a kid's movie, but not much more than an impressive CGI fest for adults. Rush deserved to fail given how misleading this ad campaign was. I mean, Rush? Rush what? This movie isn't about adrenaline junkies. If anything, it's about the rivalry between two racers. Um, both of whom are total assholes that evoke no sympathy from me. At the conclusion of this movie, what's at stake? The pride of two unlikable characters? Oh, who cares? Uh, director Ron Howard is competent. Uh, but here he comes off, really, just in general, he comes off as like Spielberg without that director's cinematic ambition or intuition. Uh, and even then, I'm not the biggest Spielberg fan. Uh, see if I can get away with saying that on the internet. Uh, this movie employs some god-awful montages. There are some very poorly crafted titles. Uh, the movie relies on like, like a race commentary as a crutch. Uh, there are elements that are neither entertaining nor relevant, such as the racers' girlfriends and wives, who also provide some of the cringiest dialogue. The cringiest. Best thing about Rush is that some scenes paint an interesting relationship between these two racers, but just in general, I'd say stay away from this one. There's not enough here to merit a watch in my book. However, United 93, is a fantastic movie regardless of what baggage you may or may not have with touchy subject 911 um this this movie is a interesting emotional intense look at people in unthinkable circumstances unlike say alan jackson's where were you when the world stopped turning that essentially just brings to the surface any emotions you may have about 9-11. I, I was four when th this horrible thing happened. So I, I, I mean, I, w I was around for it, but I, I didn't comprehend the gravity of the situation until 10 or 11 years later when you hear about it in school and somebody sits you down and explains that this actually happened. But this movie can speak to anyone given that it's just such 
an impressive story. If, even if this was a work of fiction, it would still be very intense, very emotional, and it's technically extremely well done. Just Paul Greengrass winning every day of life, um, rocking this movie, super well directed, and his shaky cam quick cut style that he's known for lends itself extremely well to this atmosphere of chaos. As far as negatives go, movie does end a little abruptly. Um, then the beginning is kind of obligatory, like we can't just get straight into the drama of this story kind of situation, but still a fantastic movie. Killing Them Softly is contrary to um, general consensus. Pretty dang good movie. For one, this movie looks fantastic. This is a beautiful looking gangster flick that pays homage to other gangster flicks, notably Goodfellas, with a scene in particular that's like a recreation, reimagining of Stack's funeral, and it's, it's just super cool. Just, just, just take my word for it, super cool scene. Uh, we all know that there's never going to be another Goodfellas after Goodfellas has been made, but this movie understands that, and it definitely goes in its own direction. Uh, it is a very hard, grimy movie, and I find that very interesting. The well, well-written dialogue um, provides a window into these uh, disgusting gangster characters, and I find that super entertaining. Brad Pitt, who is this poster's cover boy, uh, and ticket to mainstream audiences is easily the weakest link in the movie. Not to say that he's bad, just everything else about the movie is so fucking good. Uh, the U.S. government parallels with a mob mentality are hammered home a bit heavily, but it's cool to see a film like this incorporate something like that as sort of a cherry on top. I'll give people that this movie... It's, its plot structure could have used some work, uh, maybe another 20 minutes of movie would have been good, but all in all, most of what I gotta say about Killing Them Softly is positive. Closing out with cult classic Office Space, which left me a little cold. There are elements of strange love-like satire that I really dug. Conceptually, I think this movie is a little funnier than it actually is, but uh, there's so many skits and bits in this movie that's also trying to be a bigger movie that it can't amount to much. Uh, there are seriously characters that show up for six, seven lines, never to be heard from again, and you have to ask, couldn't one of uh, the... the a uh, half a dozen other characters we've already been introduced to f uh, fulfilled the same purpose. Those are my thoughts for the week. Uh, planning on being back again next week, but yeah, working on a lot of stuff. Keeping busy. 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 Um, but for now, I'm afraid this is.